Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to more Pokemon Spork. Last episode, we got the 6th and 7th gym badge. Put a stop to the illegal vitamin business. Turns out the gym leaders that were running it were actually the good guys. They knew they did wrong and they just stopped it and came clean, which was great. And today we're going to leave Oli Droll City and I'm going to miss this place because the music here is so good. And the town actually looks really sweet. It really does. I like the, this area with the green floor. Anyway, we're going to head north and see what we have to go to next. Uh, I'm going to look at a map, see where we can go. Alright, so we are, I believe, over here. So we go Ollie Droll City, we're going to go to Fork in the Road. <laughs> so we can go to Noral City, or Noral City, or Tolborn City, or Premoggin Softlands. I think we want to go to Premoggin, right? I think. Anyway, let's head up here, go to Fork in the Road, which is a great name. Uh, so, oh, okay, this looks like it's blocked off. We're clearing the road from a recent avalanche. We should be done soon. Okay. And we got East Fork. Oh, whoa, hello. This is the way to go. Oh, okay. She doesn't say anything, so we have to go west. Okay. West Fork. Weather Wonderland. Sunny. Ooh. Uh, who should we lead off with? Because it's sunny, I'm thinking Link. Give some fire type moves. Alright, let's take you on. Yo! If you can't take the heat, stay away from the toaster. Ah, oh, reminds me I need a new toaster. Broke mine. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, let's. Darkest Lariat. Substitute. Okay. It's fine. Let's go for it again. Another sub. It's all good. So I can break the sub in one hit, and then we can just do enough damage to finish you off. I need to turn the music down because it's so loud. It's so loud. There we go. Alright, no more HP for them substitutes. See you later. Is that what you had? It was. That was easy. That's nothing down here. No hidden items or anything like that. Okay. So rainy. Oh, okay. So this weather wonderland is just going to keep changing weather like the deeper we get in. Which if it's going to go from sunny to rainy, let's just go... This blink will be fine. Yo, what up? I'll keep training. Rain or shine. <laughs> I get it because the weather changes. Okay. You have a Breloom. Ah, that's fine actually, but I kind of wish I stayed... Uh, Incineroar for the fire move, but no point with the the rain, but Blink's fine here. Nice. So I was thinking about going for a fake out, but I just thought Psychic should take it out in one hit. Oh, Blizzard! We can now finally get our um, our Ninetales. So I'm going to get rid of Ice Shard. I don't know if that was a great idea, actually. Just want to keep Ice Beam. want to use Blizzard. Polyrath? Yeah, we'll stay in. Psychic. Easy peasy. Right. Let's get that nine tail, shall we? Ice stone, where you at? There you are. Woo! Our team is now just like complete. Our team is gonna be destroying everyone. I hope. Oh, I love nine tails of sprite. Oh, I, I should mention as well, I did actually um, update the game. Well, I don't know if it's an update, because um, obviously the creator said that uh, Delicia's Shadow Pokemon, uh, Shadow Flaffy Emperor, is actually supposed to be a shiny. So I, uh, I re-downloaded the game from the website, and hopefully that is the... that has been patched or whatever. Oh, is a Froakie there? There's like a marble. Oh, I want to get that Froakie. If that's like an Ash Greninja Froakie, you bet your butt that's going on the team. But we definitely haven't got Surf, have we? Uh, no. Right, what, this is, um... Hang on, let me write this down. So it's rainy... Weatherland. Come back here, I want to get that Froakie just in case. I doubt it would be, but if it is... Whew, I would like to get that, but at least we've got the location of a marble. Please, I find out what these marbles do, man. Yo, what up? 
I'll show Thunderous that my skill is wondrous. <laughs> oh man, I love the writing in this game, it's so good. Alright, fake out. A little bit of damage, and then Psychic can hopefully finish you off. <sighs> so close, so close. Just glad we outspeed you. You know, I kind of fancy using a Minetric. I never, like, I, I liked Minetric, but I was never like a, the biggest fan of Minetric. Like, there's so many other Pokemon I'd rather use, but after playing Detective Pikachu, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of fell in love with Minetric a lot more, just because I liked, I liked how Minetric played in that, that story. I really hope they make a Detective Pikachu too. I mean, they should. Can't just end a, a quality game like that on a cliffhanger. We've got the movie coming out soon as well. But I don't know how well that's going to be, because um, it, it was getting made by, or like produced by... I want to say Sony, I think it was maybe. It would have been Sony. Paramount? Someone, but I know it's been switched to Warner Brothers now. It was Warner Brothers and it's been switched from someone else. But it's... I don't know what you call it. Switch Studio? Not great with movies, I just I just watch them, you know. Did a bit of film theory in uh Well what do you call it film I can't remember what it was called actually. Like in school, high school I did Film Studies, that was it, not film theory. Thinking of the film theory channel. Uh But I mean I took that, it was an easy A, just watch films, write a bit up. The problem I don't know what, what it was in my school, but the, the go-to film was Rush Hour 2. Like, they'd probably never ever play that in schools because it was, you know, quite a violent film. Well, not that violent, it's like a comedy violence. But if you guys haven't seen Rush Hour 2, whoo! I mean, Rush Hour 1 and 2, pretty good. Rush Hour 3 is okay. I mean, not, not the greatest. It's no Rush Hour 2. But I think they're actually making Rush Hour 4, which is going to be good. It's got Jackie Chan and... I think his name's Chris Tucker. I feel like that's his name. Like, I, th I think he's a comedian, like, he doesn't do much acting. I want to say it's Chris Tucker. I know in the movie it's called Carter. Detective Carter. Oh, I want to watch Rush Hour so bad right now. I might do that after this, this video, to be honest. I really fancy watching Rush Hour. I just, I just talk myself into it. Such a good movie. Anyway. This Wonderland goes on. Quite a while. Uh, let's switch because we're getting a bit weak. Can be some ground types around here, so we'll go for our nice ice. I want to see um, Nine Tails' ability real quick. Make sure you've got what I want. Snow warning. Sweet. And then we can just spam them blizzards. It's gonna be fun. I'm assuming we're gonna keep going west until we can turn north. Go look at the poker gear. So we are like here and we want to get to the pre Moggin Softlands. Yo, what up? Hi Volt C, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has. I made it through Ollie Droll not long ago. Must have been just before you got there. While I was there, I made sure to get the move to to teach some moves to my team. This place sure is uh, fascinating. Some sections can be annoying, but we're almost through. Why'd you take this? Should help get the sound out of your uh, your Pokemon's eyes. Safety goggles, thank you very much. Been using them myself. Uh, you have to be prepared in a place like this. Speaking of which, are you prepared for me? Actually, you know what? I think I am. I think I am. I thought I was ready, I was not. We lost. Should have beat her. Should have beat her, because we were a bit, you know, uh, low health on Blink and instead of all, no PP on Psychic. We couldn't really do much damage, which kind of sucked. And I would have beat her Nine Tails. It was Nine Tails versus Nine Tails. I should have won. I was gonna win. But her last flamethrower, I live with 2 HP, and it burnt me. It burnt me and it was over. I was so annoyed. I was like, I should have won that. Should have won that. So unfair. All right, Psychic. Special defense drop, nice. Ouch, that crit kind of hurt. Well, at least we got a crit back. All right, what next? Yan Mega, let's go into Nine Tails, because I know a Blizzard can take this bad boy out. I love Blizzard. That's free down. Then Tyrantrum should come out, and we can just Blizzard it. And then the Nine Tails will probably come out next. And now we're gonna go into not Pheromosa. Looney Tunes. 
Shadow Baller. Nine hours almost bit him, man. I went for light screen. Man, just live a flamethrower. It was so close. If you didn't burn me, just that blizzard would have finished you off. Watch your last Pokemon, because I would have beat the Nine Tails and then Lapunny. Oh, oh, actually, I don't know if that Lapunny went for a fighting move on my Nine Tails. I probably would have lost that. Uh, can't be Shadow Ball. Agility. Okay. It might hit me first, but actually, I don't know. I think we should be fine now. I don't think you can actually do much damage to me. You won't really hit me. We're good. We good. The pony gets destroyed by um Looney Tunes. Excellent. Easy peasy. Uh, after walking through this whole area and battling me, you must be as worn out as I am. Here, let me heal your team. Oh, thank you very much. Up next is Pre-Moggin Softlands, where the fighting gym is. I heard they're opening up a place called the Battle Mall. We should check it out. I saw Jim pass through here earlier with a tour group. I think they were heading to the canyon. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, it's just here. Excellent. Alright, let's get nice and healthy. Go explore and see what we can find. Ooh. Oh, you can battle them. Nice bit of grinding if you, uh, if you want. But we're going to lead off with Blink, because Blink is going to destroy destroy this gym, I hope. What's up here? That's probably the canyon, yeah. Bits of rocks. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is familiar. Is this like a remix of a Sonic song? Why does it sound so familiar? Oh. Uh, the battle mall is now open! Okay. Um, hi. I heard you say your name was Barker. Indeed, that is correct. Do you have some sort of business with me? Barker as in the admin of Team Portal named Barker? How do you know of my affiliation with them? Felicia mentioned you to Voltsy, and then Voltsy told me about your operation in the game corner. Hmm. Wasn't aware Felicia had met Voltsy. And who might you be? I'm Emily, Voltsy's sister. I'll take you on myself, but Voltsy's on the way, and I think Voltsy has more history with you than I do. Oh, hi Voltsy. We are just talking about you. Barker here has a promotional event going on where anyone uh, who can beat him in battle gets the HM for strength. But since he's with Team Portal, I doubt that's all, gonna, that's, all that's going on here. I assure you, that's genuinely all, all it is. I understand that you may not agree with our actions, but we have lives outside of Team Portal. So now places like this happens to be part of mine. I was eating dinner one day while a thought suddenly occurred to me. Sinnoh has a battle mall as part of its uh, battle frontier. What if there were a battle mall where trainers could share their team or share their items to help each other in battle? Uh, that's where the concept of this place originated. Anyway, as your sister st stated earlier, a trainer who can defeat me will be rewarded with strength. You're certainly welcome to try. Oh, 100% I'm gonna kick your butt, boy. 100%. Oh man, that's not good. Uh, fake out. And psychic. Critical hit, that helps a lot. So far, so good. Manetric, uh, let's go. You know what? Let's go Ari. And Blizzard, because we can. Thank you for not getting the paralysis, that's good. Finish off the nice beam. No point wasting my PP for Blizzard. Yeah, for Blizzard. Lucario, uh, yeah, let's go in the link. Gotta be careful here, because if he has a fine type move off, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Just living. That crit, though, that crit saved the day. And then the hell finished me off, okay. Uh, let's go Lusamine. Like him, Rock. Cool, jump kick ya. Bye bye. Not gonna lie, I want my Like him, Rock on the team. Uh, Gramble. Gramble, Gramble, Gramble. Yeah, Blink will be fine here. Let's go for a fake out. Just do a little bit of damage, you know. Any damage is better than no damage. And you have leftovers, so you get the HP back. Fantastic. I'm so glad the hail finished. Stoutland. Uh, Lucimine can jump kick it. Level 44. Whew. I feel like I'm going to have to do some grinding soon. 
so be it. We may be enemies, but this situation has no relevance to that. You've earned this. Thank you. Offers no end spork. You don't need to have a Pokemon learn and HM move in order to use it in the overworld. Your player character will use the HM themselves as long as you've obtained the HM. The only exception is Fly, since there's no overworld graphic that asks for it and it needs to be activated from the party screen. HM moves are also forgettable through normal means. Oh, cool. That's actually really sweet. Sucks about the whole Fly situation thing, but I mean, I don't mind teaching Fly to, uh, to Looney Tunes right now, because better than Gust. Maybe I was too quick to assume the worst. It really does seem like all he uh, was here for is the opening of the battle mall. Reminds me of Felicia back at Wonky Woods. She just won a friendly battle and didn't even report it. We just have to be careful around them, but I guess we don't need to be so confrontational when they're not actively doing anything wrong. I'm gonna see what I can find here. Seems like these vendors have been waiting a long time for this place to open. Okay, what are you, oh. Got hidden powers. Fairy type, uh. No, actually, no. What does he give you? D maybe a dark. No, not a dog. A, a dark. A dog, sorry. I was reading bug and I was about to say dark, I went dog. <laughs> a dog type. Maybe dragon. I want to give hidden power to. The Looney Tunes, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking dragon. Focus energy. Come on, handy. What up? Uh, pledge moves. Okay. Oh, so many cool things. Quite cheap as well. I need to like, just decide what I need. Like, if we get this for Lucim uh, Lucimine. Uh, get this for Incineroar. And if no ice. Quickly give some of these to the Pokemon. New XP share, take that off, definitely. You don't need that one anymore. Charcoal. Give. What does Lucimine actually have on? Amulet coin, okay, that's fine. Amulet coin to Looney Tunes. XP shared to Kevin. Okay. Oh, so much stuff. So much stuff. Getting overwhelmed, man. Overwhelmed with too much good stuff. I think I might have to just come back here off screen and just decide what I want to get, but I think we'll be fine. Okay. Let's go find the. F Actually, let's go heal up first, and we go find the gym leader. I assume the gym leader is probably going to be up in the canyon. Cause it seems like all that's here is the Pokemon Center and the uh, the Battle Mall. Yeah. Oh, in the house, which had no one inside. So I guess we're going up to the canyon. We've got strength now, so we can start pushing some boulders if we find anything. Oh, a Sigalift. Just want to get that bad boy, but don't really want a Sigalift. Ooh, what is going on here? Uh, what you see here is the Neon Temple, which houses the legendary Pokemon Reggie Gigas. Most of you pass through Oli Droll City to get here. As I'm sure you observed, Oli Droll City has three districts. Services, res residential, and recreation. What you may not know is that Oli Droll actually used to have four district. The fourth was called the Party District. People of the party district called upon Regigigas' strength to physically separate it from the rest of Olidroll. It's now located beyond the Yellow Sea. The party district was always intended to be an invite-only place, and they were tired of having to throw tourists and people from the other parts of Olidroll out. Maybe wondering, how exactly do you get accepted to the party district? One way is to be famous for having a notable achievement to your name. Another is to earn 17 CLS League badges, so I'm guessing the 18th gym could potentially... Wait. Yeah, 18 types, right? Or is there 16 badges? Yeah, there's one for every type, and there's 18 types, right? Yeah, I think I'm thinking of 16 badges because of um, obviously Johto, you know, or you know, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you get 16. But 
Uh, there are four of us whose strength stands out among gym leaders. The Elite Four were to suddenly retire all at once, they would be the ones to take their place. And the strongest of those four is in the party district, now called Party City. She calls herself DJ Ultra Beats. Oh, you know she's going to have Ultra Beasts. All that aside though, this is where the tour officially ends. You're free to explore the Neon Temple if you want. Reggie Gigas is currently in Cryptobiosis. So don't worry about running into it. Well, hello there, Voltsy. Haven't seen you in a while. In addition to being a gym leader, I'm also a tour guide. Sounds hard to balance, but whenever I'm scheduled to give a tour, I just fly right there on my uh, Star Raptor. Oh, he's a fighting type though, right? I mean, Star Raptor can learn close combat, which is kind of scary, but maybe you'd like to be able to uh, do that too. <gasps> oh, thank you. Since you're here, why not have a battle? I'd like to see how you've uh, progressed, and I'm sure my tour group wouldn't mind seeing a gym leader battle. Wait, so is this the gym battle now for the badge? Oh no, he's the first gym leader. Oh, my bad. I was thinking he was like, okay. I uh, got confused for a second. So the, gym, the name Jim like was sounded a bit familiar, but I, I totally blanked he was the first gym leader. It was weeks ago. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But now we got stronger Pokemon, and he's a normal type dude. We're gonna destroy him with Lusamine. Just jump kick everything. And once I learn triple kick. I'm gonna give her a jump kick. Like, I'm just scared I'm gonna miss jump kick and do damage to myself. And then you got Giraffery, which is flying our silver wind it. See ya. Easy peasy. Kangaskhan, cool. Gonna triple kick it. Oh, two times. I was gonna hit always three times. That was a double kick, not a triple kick. There you go. Alright. Kamala. What up? Nice. I feel like jump kick's so much better. I was always just worried I was gonna just miss. That was the issue with jump kick. Okay, it's fine. Lose a mean too strong. Taking everyone out. Any more? That was it. Thanks for giving the audience a good show. You're welcome. You are a lot stronger. Maybe one day I'll be calling you champion. Oh, I didn't ask you before. I'm curious. Where are you and Emily from? Oh, we can decide. Don't like. I really hate Saffron City. I do like Ecritique City, to be honest. Lily Cove is. That is. Oh, that's between um, the sixth gym and Moz Deep, isn't it? That's where the department store is in Hoenn. Don't like Lily Cove. Sunny Shore City. That's got to be obviously Sinnoh, but I, I cannot remember Sunny Shore City. I, I think that's where the, the eighth gym leader is, Volkner, right? Undella Town, that is. Is that what you bet with Cynthia? Or is that where the eighth gym is in uh, Black and White 2? On Delatown. I kind of just want to... I don't know if this... It probably doesn't make a difference, but... Sunny Shore City. Yeah, it's where uh, Faulkner is. And then on Delatown... Is... Where Cynthia is. I quite like on Delatown, to be honest. No, I know where Anastar is. That's, um... Oh, I need to click back on the game is where uh, the 7th Jim in Carlos is. Is it 7th? The Psychic one. And Mali City, uh, go back to the first set. I want to be... I'm going to say we're from Undella Town, because I think that's such a, such a cool place in Yanova. Yeah, I heard Sinnoh's champion Cynthia visits there sometimes. Have you ever met her? By the way, have you explored the main section of Varima City? I think those Pokemon were fighting each other over on the, over on the bridge uh, where you were there, but Reyna is on her way back to Varima. She's usually the one who deals with them. I think I'm going to head back home now. Uh, the tour is finished and I wouldn't want to keep any challenges waiting uh, longer than they have to. Good luck with the rest of the league. Alright, so the... Oh! There's a Chimchar chilling there. I mean, we're going to catch in a sec. Oh, there's a Megastone down there. Tinder Forest. Alright, I've got to check that in a second. Look at that Chimchar. Wait, do I have balls? Yeah. 
What's up, little chimcha? Oh. Wait, what? Okay. Let's go for a precise attack. Fierce attack. Oh no. Alright, okay. Let's defend. What? Special attack. Alright, okay. Precise attack. I want to win this bad. Go for another precise. Fierce attack. Okay. Let's defend. What? You failed to block. Oh, man. So we can give a fierce attack then. Attack was evaded. Not good. Precise attack. We got him. Cool. Uh, fierce attack. 2 HP left. Let's go for it. Hit each other. Yes, we win. Got Chimcha. Alright, nice. Oh, I kind of want Chimcha on the team. That's cool. Oh, well, let's teach, um... Being Tunes Fly. Get rid of Gust. Let me check Poker Gear real quick. So we are... Canyon. Tinder Village. I'm going to check out Tinder Village real quick, and then we'll fly down, I guess? I think of that Mega Stone as well. I want to get Surf to get that Froakie. Got a Farfetch, nice. A little Farfetch, what up? How you doing? Nice to meet ya. Oh, Mega Stone, cool for what? Caesar. Not bad. So next to me, a little bit of a maze to get through here, maybe. Oh no, pretty easy. Tinder Village. Alright, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be here. J okay, just yet, but. Now we can fly here, if need be. So I'm guessing we fly down back here. I'm guessing. Yeah, right a little bit. I think yeah, it was down here. Hi, you trying to get through here? I am. This happens a lot. Unfortunately, it's usually while I'm away. How about we take free each? Three each. Okay. Alright. Whoa, level 40. I'm going to have a light screen actually. While the Tepig's out, because the Tepig won't do as much as the other guys. Nice. Now they're getting the fighting type. Doing that serious damage. <laughs> Excellent. Roleplay? Uh, no thanks. All the Pokemon fled except for one Tepig. Nice job, it seems like that Tepig wants to go with you. Got a free Tepig, nice. Like, I like Embor, I mean, I love shiny Embor, but I'm not a big fan of Embor. My name's uh, Rainium, by the way. I'm the owner of Varima's training gym. I'll be there if you want to stop by. Okay, sounds good. Got like a whole little new area to explore, all these houses. Whoa, a lot of houses. This area's quite big. I know that's the training gym, but could that be the actual gym for the badge as well? Okay, welcome to the hip hop ship shop. <laughs> we sell hot beats and even hotter TMs. Oh, hello. Break break for um Ferramosa. Oh, I could go for focus blast, but focus blast I'd miss. Might get it just as well. Can I get past you? Oh, Del Mice. Right, I need to like explore this, sh um, this ship and this whole town as well. Uh, let's see. There is no Pokemon Center here. I think it'd be like you have to go north for it. Right, so I'm going to pro here. Next episode, we will, uh, I guess, maybe get a gym badge here. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.